My name is Irene. Diane. Jenny. Jennifer. And our career is forensic anthropology. Now it may seem like a difficult word, but the meaning is easier to handle. Anthropology help identify the unidentified bodies in a crime scene. And they find out the cause of a person's death and when it took place. But how does this help our community? Forensic anthropology helps identify the victim, which leads to letting loved ones understand if the victim died of natural causes, suicide, or murder. Anthropologists can lead some cases into identifying who the guilty is. We'll kill you! In this short, quick break, we'll be talking about the education one needs to become a forensic anthropologist, the training one must complete, last but not least, the skills one must have more. Wait, don't you want to talk about the dough too? Yes, and the salary. Before we talk about the salary, let's talk about the education requirements. Mastering osteology, ethnobotany, and dentition is important for someone who wishes to be successful in the anthropology field. A master's degree or PhD in forensic anthropology is necessary to get a job in this field. And if you're receiving your doctorate degree, you'll be receiving hands-on training. Some important skills for this job is talking to others in order to share information effectively. Knowing the human body, human culture, organizations, behavior, and ethnicity are necessary. Judgment and decision making. There's so much more to add on to this list of skills, but these are most important. Last but not least, the salary. Minimum yearly salary of $37,000 to the maximum yearly salary, which is $7,000. The average salary is $55,000. It's been two years since my sister has disappeared. I have not given up hope. I just want her to know I am a better person. Dr. Rachel Alvarez, we have an open case victim that I need you to investigate. Where is the body located at? A little girl found the body at Marina del Rey Beach. I will bring along my assistant, Elizabeth Gomez. I thought it was near the beach, not in the beach. I did not come prepared for this. Ms. Gomez, you have to be prepared for any situation including hot weather. But I, Gomez, we are in the middle of a crime scene. Do not disturb this scene with your personal problem. Yes, Dr. Alvarez, of course. Dr. Gomez, Dr. Alvarez, we've been expecting you. Where is the court? This way. that the vault of the skull is way flatter than indicating that it's a female. When it's rounder, it's a male. What time did the victim die and do you believe this is a murder case? Well, for now we cannot be sure of the possibility of murder and what time the victim was killed. We have to further analyze the victim in the lab.
stop it. Stop what? Stop scaring me. You know I don't play around like that. But I wasn't. Yes, doctor. Let's analyze the victim. I already did. There are various skull fractures, such as the orbital fracture on the left and on the frontal bone. Hmm, but did you notice the fracture on the left side of the mandible? Yes, but how does a small fracture tie in with the cause of death? Well, Ms. Gomez, this fracture indicates that the time the victim died was the time when she got this fracture. How? How, oh, Ms. Gomez? Didn't you go to school for this? Ms. Gomez, please take out the tissues left in the bones so we can further analyze who the victim was. Yes, Dr. Roberts. Dr. Roberts, the results of the DNA are in. Well, well, the victim is between the age 12 and 13, is a Hispanic female about 5'1", weighs about 80 to 85 pounds, and died two years ago. Why are you telling me this information that I already know? Well, the only report of a missing citizen with this description is Michelle Alvarez. That is what you assume, Ms. Gomez. Do not put my personal life into this investigation. The DNA of the victim is your sister. What? You just found your sister. Let me see. Chico or UC Davis. Somewhere you can volunteer is in the National Association Project of Anthropology, Internships in Federal Law Enforcement or FBI Forensic Science. Related occupations to forensic anthropology is blood splatter analyze, computer forensic, crime lab analyze, forensic nursing, forensic psychology, forensic science technician or crime science investigator. From the Washington Post Magazine article called Women at Forefront of Booming Forensic Science Field. It states nationwide women average 78% of 1,250 students enrolled in 22 graduate and undergraduate programs accredited by American Academy of Forensic Science. Research studies of Bureau of Labor Statistics say a related occupation of forensic anthropology ethnicity is 14.5% African American, 3% Asian, 13.5% Hispanic or Latino, and 69% Caucasian. Dr. Richard Alvarez, you are under arrest for the murder and fines of Michelle Alvarez. You have the roommate the right to remain silent, anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. And you have the right to have an attorney. What are you talking about? I would never kill my own sister. <laughs> I have to be a well-spoken person in order to testify as an expert in court. I also have to write a well-detailed in research and also compare different cultural groups, communities, and organizations. I will sue.
This was the Baby Seals production, darling.